Hi everybody, so today we've got uh, two Python scripts that we're going to ask um, a HTML page to run from JavaScript. So the first uh, bit of Python script that runs is when the page loads, this is just as it's here. Second is when we click this button here, run my Python, it executes a separate piece of Python script um, and then it gives obviously the same uh, pop-up uh, window here on the screen. So let's see how we can implement this in uh, the logic and how you could use this in any of your Python projects or data analytics projects. Right, so if you looked at any of my, uh, or sorry, one of my previous videos, um, did something quite similar to this video, um, which uses some of the same logic, and it was to do with passing variables from uh, JS JavaScript via JSON to Python. Now, some of the logic as I said is the same, but it's kind of a little bit different, but we're gonna, go through it now and the objective here is to basically when we on the web page um, either load the load the page or click a button it executes some python script okay so we have two files here this is the index.html and the app.py right so obviously the index.html is the builder for the html page so let's have a quick look at that and see what's going on there and then what we'll do is We'll go over to the Python side and show you how it all comes together. And then basically we'll run it at the end just to show you again, like the start, and then we're done. So like anybody, if you haven't used HTML before, just take you through this. So a lot of this is basically just building the structure of the page. So this is basically just telling what language it is. Um, this is just basically the homepage title. Okay, so this first line here, what we'll do here is we'll just write this in. Um, uh, this basically um, calls calls a function, okay, on the page load, right? Okay, so that basically my function on load calls this function down here in part of this JavaScript. Okay, we'll come to that in a second. Then um, we also separately have a button on the web page, and that basically has a, an on click event, and it calls the function my function underscore click event this here okay and obviously this is the run my python is, exclamation mark is just the uh, the text on the button i like the last video it's uh, you should have seen if i haven't pointed it or I haven't shown you already it should be appearing on the left hand side hopefully um basically to run we use ajax and um, ajax and that basically um, passes instructions from the web browser to python Okay, so we need this this line here to tell it that when we run, to use this, when we run the Ajax down here, that it will work fine and that the, the logic that we've asked Ajax to run, it will run correctly and pass the instructions over to Python. Okay, so that's that's for. So as I said, there is two bits to this, right? So there's the onload event, okay? And then there's basically the, um, Put and click event. So essentially what happens on the web page, very, very straightforward, is when on the load, when the page loads up, it basically says, come along and run this function, okay? Then what it says is run the IX and, and then basically go to this app.py, okay? And what happens is in that instance is it goes over here, okay? And what it does is it basically goes to the root and essentially says in that root, run this pop-up message and then basically show it on the screen for the user to click okay. So essentially that's all that's doing, okay. On the second bit is the, the click event. So this is the button. So where we click the button, um, it's pretty much the same code, but what it's doing now, this what this one here, these, this line here, it goes to the root uh, page, which is here, okay? But this second piece of logic, um, which is asking us to run Ajax, it actually goes to a specific part of the Flask page and says run that logic. So when this, this runs, when the page loads, it obviously runs this, but it won't run this on this, this, this line here until the button click event is implemented. Okay, so just to recap that there's two, two bits to this. There's the unload event, which runs one part of um, the logic over in the Python. And then the second is on the click event. When the button's clicked, it goes to a separate part of the Python file and runs that logic. Essentially, they give you both the same output, 
but you know they do actually um they only actually work based on what you do what happens on the page okay so that's essentially your there's your that's your first piece of javascript all right and then it's your second piece of javascript and obviously these are just the closing tags um for the web page so what we've done over here we'll just maybe move this up a bit is we've imported win32 api and all that does is uh, basically gives us a pop-up uh, box okay uh, you, you saw that to start in the intro but we'll do it again um and then obviously we were going to be using flask because Fl this is a web browser base so we're using flask which is the one of them there's a couple was one of the main um packages that you use for building web browsers or web-based applications um in python all right so earlier on so the first thing what we said earlier on was that when the actual page load the web page loads it goes to the root basically and it says okay we're loading over here we were basically saying we're loading so run go to the root and run basically the pop-up message box so it's a couple of things here um is this is your message okay this is kind of your title. Now this is important here. Um, what I was finding was that um, when this was working all fine, but when the pay when the box loaded, it was being minimized. So I did a bit of research and I found that if you put this in at the end in this message box, what it actually does is it, it kind of like a modal. It goes over the main window and it appears to you directly. So you don't have to go down and try and maximize it. And then click OK. It actually shows up over the main window. OK, so that's basically what happens is when we um, load the page and then it basically you got your return render template. It just basically again, it just this all this logic r runs within the index HTML. And remember that in Flask index.html is a template and it has to be put it within its own folder and that's basically knows where it is and going to look for it and all that logic that is associated with that page. So essentially, as we described here, this is on the load of the page. But once we click the first pop up window, it just disappears, which is fine. But say um, we wanted to then we click a button on the web browser and run again, run some job, uh, run some Python. So what's happening here is when you click the button, it's running this JavaScript and it's telling it to go over to tests which is within here and then run this logic so essentially your javascript is calling your python app.apy file and then going down to this section for slash test and run this function and again it's just running the pop-up window okay so essentially that in a in a nutshell um what it's very introductory is how you if you had a web browser and you had you want to use some javascript on it but then call some python code to actually run some python logic that's how you go about doing it so i hope you enjoyed that today uh we're growing channel at the moment we're actually in excess of 800 or around 800 i think today subscribers and growing so if you haven't subscribed so far please do really appreciate it more videos like this coming soon we're approaching 100 videos in this channel over the next while so it's been a bit of a milestone and we really appreciate people coming by thanks for popping by i hope you're keeping well stay safe and we look forward to seeing you soon take care goodbye mm -hmm.